put put poker face on us. What's up YouTube? My name is Dom Twilight and tonight we're going to be talking about confidence. How I gained my confidence and seven things that you can do tonight. Tonight, essentially. Tonight to gain and keep yours. So I'm going to start off by telling you guys about how I gained my personal confidence and then we can get into those seven things that you can do to gain yours. So to start off with, and by the way, I do have some notes in my handy dandy notebook here just to give me a little support. Yeah. So one of the things I started doing for myself was watching drag or watching runway shows, makeup artists, because that shit exudes confidence so find something that you are just in love with that really screams confidence okay because that's what worked for me at least the second thing that i did and this is in no particular order by the way the second thing i did was take time for myself so what this means is just keep the family at bay okay keep the family to the side for a minute keep your friends whatever just stay by yourself okay isolate yourself and find who you really are or who you really want to be because then you're not going to give a sh so yeah i take time to myself find out who i really want to be so that when i come back into reality i have a better idea of who i am and that's always good number three i always made sure to look good when I left the house and this is a practice that I still work on today but whenever you leave just try to look cute okay when you look good you feel good that's for me at least I can only speak for myself okay I need to get this outfit popping the hair popping and the face looking good okay that's not always makeup it could be a bare face you know she's cute either way um but as long as the hair is looking good we're 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 on board we're good to go Okay, we're good to go. The next thing I love to do to gain my confidence, or just to, you know, give me a little oomph, is wear heels. Wear heels, okay? Doesn't matter how, how tall they are. I'm not a fan of the kitten heel, okay? But do your thing, make it work, all right? Because the feeling of the heel and the sound of the heel is just, just makes you feel sexy, okay? That's the word that I'm looking for. It makes you feel good. All right. And that's what you need to feel confident. Do it. Wear heels. <laughs> Next on the list. So there was a period where I didn't really wear makeup that much. I loved makeup. I loved to do makeup. But I needed to breathe. When I took off my makeup previously, I felt ugly. I didn't feel good about myself. And just, it wasn't cute, okay? So I took the time to appreciate the way that my face looked, the way I felt without makeup, and didn't get as many pimples. I took the time to really love that. Now that I'm back into makeup, I love the way I look with and without makeup. I have to question which one looks better. Number six on my list of things that I love to do or did to gain my confidence is after I've come home from a date night, party night, socializing event, okay? After I come home from that, I analyze my conversations from the night. And if there was ever a time that I felt insecure or upset or whatever feeling that I wasn't trying to feel that night, I analyzed the conversation, why I felt that way and what made me feel that way. And if it's an insecurity that I wasn't aware of, I gotta work on that, <laughs> okay? And this is really good because once you find insecurities in future situations, you can keep your poker face, okay? You can keep your cool. And keeping your cool is keeping confidence. All right, let's talk about how you can build your confidence in seven steps or more, honestly, but these ones are good, okay? It's some good examples. Take it or leave it. Number one, fake it till you make it, okay? This is the best advice you're gonna get, I swear. Okay, so listen, listen. Fake it till you make it because if you constantly do something over and over again, it will become a habit. 
So whether you're faking it for Jim Bob or Suzy Q, either way, you're still faking it. And after a certain amount of time, you're going to fool your damn self, okay? And that is why this is number one, all right? And again, these aren't really in particular order, but that was a good number one. <laughs> number two. Number two is a little frisky, okay? Number two, sleep naked. Just do it. Sleep naked. Just sleep naked. And listen, if you live with a sibling in your room or a roommate, you're out of luck. You don't get a chance to be confident. I'm just kidding. But you're still shit out of luck. And if it's, if it's cold where you are, just try naked from the waist down. I don't know, I don't know. Try something though, try sleeping naked. Something about waking up in the morning and just being in tune with your own skin as you on that giraffe. I don't know, it's sexy though. And it's confident. It builds your confidence, okay? You'll thank me later. And then you'll come back to the comment section and let me know. And I'm sure there's some health benefits. I am sure there's some, some health benefits. Number three is get ready. Get ready in the morning. And even if you're not getting full glam, full stylish fit from the head to the toes, okay? You can still put on some great loungewear. Make sure your hair is done. Just make sure that you feel good for yourself so that when you walk by the mirror during the day, you catch a quick glance, you wanna look good. Because again, when you look good, you feel good, all right? When you look good, you feel good. So get ready. If I want a fucking wig, I got some real cute wigs, a little bob, a little, you know, whatever you want, whatever you need. I need to stop saying that. When you look good, you feel good. <laughs> Put on some clothes so you look good when you, when, you, when you pop in the mirror, okay? And you're looking good for yourself. You could live alone. Or you could live with a house full of people. Who really cares if they're, if they're looking at you sideways because you got ready? Just be like, okay, you no, know, what's the deal? What's the problem? Are you mad? Are you upset? Are you angered at the beauty? Didn't think so. Number four is what would your role model do? So who do you look up to? You know what I mean? Who do you see yourself maybe kind of becoming one day? You look up to them, you like their style, you like the way they flow, you just like their career. Maybe that's what you want to do one day. Who do you love and what does it take to get to their level on a daily basis? What do you need to do every day to get to that level? Go ahead and journal about it, okay? Do what you need to do. But uh, let me give you an example. No, I'm not going to give you an example. I'm not. You just need to find somebody you love and embody them. Embody that person until you become the best version of you. Just keep doing it. Day in, day out. Number five is write down your insecurities, okay? Write down your insecurities so that you're aware of them and that when they pop up in conversations, you're not stunned, taken aback, and as a result, uh, not confident because when you're not confident, it's pretty evident on your face, fairly evident to see so you want to make sure that your poker face is ready you're ready okay that's what we're doing tonight that's what we're teaching tonight <laughs> write down your insecurities and work on them start working on them every day if you notice that that insecurity is taking up some mind space start questioning that why do i feel that way why do i have this belief about myself you know do your due diligence do your due diligence. Just do your due diligence. Just do your do. Do what you gotta do. Do the work. Put in the work to change. To get rid of that insecurity and replace it with confidence. If you have an insecurity that you can't change, maybe it's something about your appearance, or something that sets you apart from society that you know you just really can't change. Then I recommend going on social media and finding somebody who has that similar characteristic who's confident about it all right and 
usually those same people are the ones that used to be insecure about it themselves and they have grown to be confident so follow their journey love on them and you will learn to love yourself through them so write down those insecurities and if you can't change them find somebody who loves them to inspire you to love yourself because self-love is the best love <laughs> Six, start working on your life goals, guys, okay? Start working on your life goals so that you have something to talk about, something to brag about. When you think about who you want to be and you look at yourself right now and you're not even on track to doing those things, you're not going to feel that great about yourself. And that's your inner confidence because there's layers to this shit, okay? There's different types of confidence. So there's the outer confidence, how you look talk to the world how you feel about how you look and of course there's inner confidence so that really gets down to your soul your being when somebody hurts your pride that's your confidence dwindling so what you need to do is work on both the inner and the outer confidence so start working on your life goals so that you can feel some sense of pride in yourself or accomplishment or just do the things that you love so that you can feel good about living, so that you feel that your purpose is being met and that will make you feel great and it'll make you feel confident. Number seven, the final tip for tonight is going to be try new things, all right? Um, you wanna try new things because of course it gives you more experience, more wisdom. You can see what you don't like, what you're not good at, and what you do like, and what you are good at. So essentially you can really get an idea of your strengths and weaknesses. And this is great because you know what you bring to the table. And if you don't bring something to the table, you're not gonna put yourself in that situation. And if you are put into that situation, at least you know I'm not good at this and you can keep your poker face, okay? It's all about the poker face. P -p -p poker face, P -p poker face. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Do it, Texas, please. Uh, uh. What the fuck was that? This is ridiculous. Knowing your strengths and your weaknesses is a bonus for you because, again, you know when to throw up that poker face and when to fake it till you make it. Don't be caught off guard. Don't do it. This is your final warning. The last thing I want to leave with you guys today is a quote. A beautiful quote, okay? Believe in yourself or no one will. Or no one will. No one. It's over. It's done. Listen, I want to thank you for joining me on this video tonight, and I want you to watch more, so go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, whatever you feel like doing. And check me out on Instagram, okay? I'm at Dom Twilight, and I have a few other accounts, alter egos, so check them out. Check them out. Subscribe. 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 I think, oh. Have a beautiful night. Subscribe. <laughs> ah! When I walk into a room, I want to make sure every one of you bitches is shook to the motherfucking core. Because why? I have arrived. Confident.